Learn how to properly clean 9 common beauty tools for your health and your best self. Curling and flat irons. Hairspray and other hair products can build up on curling and flat irons and all of that heat simply bakes it onto the surface. You can't just dunk these appliances in water, and scraping off the gunk can damage surfaces. Unplug the appliance and make sure it is completely cool. Then wet a cotton pad or ball with rubbing and go over the sticky surfaces. Allow it to work for a few minutes. You may need to use several pads to complete the job. Wipe down with a clean, damp cloth and then a soft, dry cloth. The irons can also be cleaned by mixing a tablespoon of baking soda with one teaspoon of water. Apply the paste to the sticky areas with a soft cloth and scrub lightly. Wipe away the residue with a clean cloth dipped in plain water and then dry with a soft cloth. Eyelash Curler Mascara, eyeliner, and bacteria can all coat the surface of your eyelash curler. None of that sounds very conducive to good eye health. A curler should be cleaned at least weekly, daily if you have sensitive eyes or any type of eye infection. To clean the curler, Wet a cotton pad or ball with rubbing and wipe down all the surfaces that come in contact with your eyes. Keep moving to a clean part of the pad as you work. When it looks clean, make one last pass with a clean pad dipped in rubbing. Rinse with plain cool water because they may dry out any rubber or plastic components. Allow to air dry on a clean towel. Hair brushes, combs, and hair accessories. Hair brushes and combs collect lots of oily dirt, dead skin, and hair products on their surfaces. If you don't clean them regularly, all of that gunk is transferred back to your hair and can leave it looking dull and flat. For plastic and metal bristle brushes and combs. First, remove as much hair as possible from the brush or comb with your fingers or with tweezers. Next, dampen the brush or comb with water and work in a bit of shampoo. Use your hands to work the shampoo into the bristles or teeth. Fill a sink with warm water and allow the brush and comb to soak for at least 15 minutes. Finally, use an old toothbrush to loosen in residue that might remain. Rinse well with warm water and allow to air dry on a clean towel. For natural bore bristle brushes, cushioned brushes, and wooden handled brushes. Skip the soaking step because it can damage parts of the brush. Instead, you may need to repeat the shampoo and a bit of water using an old toothbrush and then rinse well and allow to air dry. Don't forget to clean plastic and metal barrettes, headbands, and clips. They can be cleaned the same way and you may need to use a bit of rubbing on a cotton pad to remove hairspray residue. Makeup brushes. Unless you have extras, pick a time to clean your makeup brushes when you're not in a rush. First, wet the brush well with plain, cool water. Try to wet only the bristle part to prevent weakening the adhesive that holds the brush to the handle. Place a dab of gentle shampoo or detergent in the palm of your hand and swish the brush through the shampoo, making sure it gets into the center of the brush. Rinse with plain water, keeping that handle dry. Gently squeeze the water out of the bristles, keeping them lying as flat as possible. Lay the brushes flat on a towel to air dry, at least overnight before using. Makeup Pencil Sharpeners Eyeliner, eyebrow, and lip liner pencils all become dull and need to be sharpened. And, each of these has been in contact with body fluids before they are put in the sharpener. To prevent cross-contamination, the sharpener should be cleaned after every use. Simply dip an old toothbrush into some rubbing and carefully get into the edges of the sharpener. Rinse well with cool water and allow to air dry. Manicure and Pedicure Tools there are horror stories about infections from manicure and pedicure tools because the tools come in contact with dirt, bacteria, and body fluids. Proper cleaning is essential. Dispose of single-use items like wooden sticks and cotton pads after every use. Metal implements should be washed with warm water and antibacterial soap using an old toothbrush to get into the hard-to-reach areas and then the edges cleaned with rubbing after every use. Plastic or synthetic materials like toe separators or nail brushes should be wiped down. Abrasive surfaces like nail files and buffers can be cleaned by brushing with that clean nail brush. Make sure tools are completely dry and stored properly in a clean container. Do not leave dirty tools in an airtight plastic bag or container because that can promote the growth of bacteria. Mirrors 
You may not think of a mirror as a beauty tool, but we'd be pretty scary if we didn't have one. Whether your mirror is a large one over the bathroom sink, a handheld mirror or one that has extra lighting, you can easily keep it crystal clear. Make your own glass cleaner by mixing one part ammonia and one part water in a spray bottle. Be sure to label the container. Use the homemade cleaner or a commercial brand sparingly and then wipe down with the microfiber or other lint-free cloth. For tough hairspray stains on mirrors and windows, wipe the area with a cloth dipped in isopropyl and then dry with the lint-free cloth. Tweezers. Tweezers are used for lots of tasks and almost all of them involve contact with body fluids. To lessen the chance of infection, tweezers should be cleaned after every use. For overall cleaning, wash the entire implement with a bit of antibacterial hand soap and warm water. Then, dip the tips in rub with a cotton swab dipped in rubbing. Allow to air dry on a clean towel. Ultrasonic Facial Brushes Even though you use a cleanser with your ultrasonic facial brush, it still needs to be cleaned regularly, at least weekly. Unscrew the brush head. Use a few drops of liquid antibacterial soap on an old toothbrush to scrub between the bristles. Rinse well with warm water and then clean the handle with with the soap in a soft cloth. Allow the brush head to air dry overnight separated from the handle. 